Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetech4teachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at mixing privacy settings in Google Calendar. So let's go ahead and get started here and first create a new calendar. So we'll just call this one Sample Calendar 10. And I always like to make my calendars public so that students can see and parents can see all the contents of events on the calendar. Now, I might later put some things on the calendar that I don't want the whole world to be able to see, and I'll make those private, but for now, I'm going to make everything public. Let's go ahead and create this calendar, and we'll say see all event details for both. And let's just refresh this quickly, and then our new calendar will appear. So there's sample calendar 10. And let's create a new event on this calendar. So let's go create event on this calendar, and we'll call it sample event. And down here, we'll call this lesson outline. And we'll just say one, two, three things we're going to do today. Add the attachment. All right, so there's our list of reminders for kids. And you'll see by default, this is now going to be public. So let's save that. And so there's our sample event. Now let's go in and let's say there's an event we're going to make for later in the week where we don't want all the details to be public. So again, I'm going to go to sample calendar. Let's create a new event, and we'll say field trip. But I might not want to advertise to the whole world that the class is going on a field trip to a specific place. So I might just say, you know, I'll put in for field trip to dot dot dot. And I want to make this event private. So People who are invited specifically to the calendar will be able to see the content. So if I've invited students by email to join the calendar, they'll be able to see it. Uh, but otherwise, anyone finding the calendar publicly, like a, let's say I've put this calendar in a blog. By the way, if you uh, look at this blog post that this video is in, uh, you'll see a tutorial on how to put this inside a blog. Uh, but this event will now be private. But it will still be on the same calendar. So let's save it. So we've added that event for a field trip. You can see here it's locked though. So it's going to be a private private event. Only folks who have been invited specific, specifically to the calendar will be able to see it. So that's how you can mix and match your privacy settings in a Google Calendar. And of course, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.